Hey folks, this is Matt aka Slash here, and we're going to be doing a Minecraft video. Indie. Uh, <laughs> we are going to be attempting the Ethos Lab uh, Hungry Man Speed Challenge. That's what it's called, Hungry Man Speed Challenge. So for that, we are going to be creating a new world. We will call this a Speed Challenge. Hungry Man. The rules for this are pretty simple. You create a new world. Default world option, so random seed. Game mode is hardcore, so if you die, you lose. You have failed the challenge completely. And we'll go ahead and get this world generating, and we'll talk a little bit more about the rest of the rules while that is happening. So... We're we'll going to pause it here as soon as we get in as well. There we go. Let that generate around us. So, the rules of this challenge are pretty simple. From the time I click back to game, I have 30 minutes to accumulate as many edible items in Minecraft as I can. And I believe the total, if I'm remembering correctly, and it's been a little bit since I watched Etho's video... Because it went up like a week and a half ago, something like that. Um, I think the total for edible items in the game is 24. So we're talking distinct edible items, which means that a cooked pork chop is distinct from an uncooked pork chop, etc. Um, each item obtained is a point, And at the end of the 30 minutes, that is your point total, whatever you have on you. Uh, anything that's in a furnace having been cooked but not in your inventory does not count. It's only whatever you've got on your person at the end of that time. So, uh, and again, it's hardcore. The uh, I believe no beds are allowed, uh, so you can't skip the night. You can use F3 to get your coordinates, um, but that's about it. Otherwise, it's typical punch-a-tree kind of Minecraft. Uh, and as you, of course, I've already said, hardcore mode, so if I die partway through this, well, that would be disappointing. I would end with a score of zero. All right, so we're going to give this a shot. I'm not going to be having a timer uh, personally. I'm going to do my best to just use my computer clock here in the corner. Um, but uh, I will try to get some sort of timer here on the video. Uh, that will give you an idea of the timing, and we'll go with that. So, here we go. So, we got to get a tree down as fast as possible and get some basic tools going. I know that there are pigs behind me, so that's two points right there. We'll get a uh, pork chop, raw pork chop from them, and then we'll cook the rest, and that will be a good source of food. Thankfully, uh, one of the more recent Minecraft updates uh, made it so that pigs will always drop pork chops. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a wooden pick. That's the only wooden tool we're going to use. We're just going to go ahead and dig down as quick as we can. And just get some stone and get a proper set of stone tools no sense in wasting any time making anything other than a wooden pick cuz once you got the wooden pick you get the stone and you're all set to go we're gonna need enough stone for a furnace and obviously for some tools I would like to get a stone axe uh, a stone pickaxe and a stone shovel and uh, probably at least one stone sword, maybe two. And like I said, the furnace is important. So what do we got, 16, 18? Let's get about half a stack real quick before we head up. Probably wasting a little bit of time here, I'm realizing, because a, if I were to go up and make a stone pick, that would cut through this stone a little bit faster. And I now have left myself no way back up. There we go. All right, so let's go stone sword. 
We'll go. We need a. We need more sticks. All right. Let's go. Stone shovel. Stone pick. My clicking is not working. Uh, you know what? We're gonna need a hoe actually as well for um. Wheat. In case we get wheat seeds. Uh, and we don't find... Ho I'm hoping that we find a village. Six, okay. I'm hoping to find a village. For... There we go. I was going to say, where's my guaranteed pork chops? But I'm hoping for a village in order to get some of those items. Like a... Um... The wheat, the carrots, the potatoes. Very, very important. Uh, I'm not going to bother caving, really. Because other than stuff that might be found in chests, um, there's not much of a point in going into the caves. The only thing that we're really going to miss out on in a cave is melon seeds for watermelon. Um, I'm not... Super confident that we're going to find an abandoned mineshaft anyway. So rather than lose out on uh, perspective points uh, from stuff that we can more easily obtain, like these pigs and hopefully chickens and cows, um, you know, I'd, I'd rather spend my time getting this stuff than. Yeah, that's probably enough killing. That's 20. For all the longer, this is going to last. Oh, cows. Cows. Excellent. And it looks like it's going into a plains. So we might have a chance at a village over here. If we're lucky. So give me some give me some meat. Meet me. What do we got? We got four steak. Good enough. We got a jungle over there. We might check that out if the... Uh, Plains does not prove fruitful in terms of a village. Uh, let's head over here and get the high ground a little bit. We're obviously also going to need some string at some point to get um, a fishing rod going. What is this? That's gravel. For a second I thought that was cobblestone. I thought maybe we might get something good in a dungeon. We should also make sure that we chop down oak trees when anytime we're waiting for something. I'm not seeing anything plains wise or village wise. I'm seeing plenty of plains. I'm so like pent up with energy for this right now because uh, I don't want to lose out on any time. But at the same time, I feel like if I go too fast, I might miss something. Uh, or make a stupid mistake that gets me killed early. Um, Alright. Let's go ahead. Let's get a furnace going. And let's... Oops. These are the kind of mistakes I'm talking about here. Get a bunch of sticks. Uh, let's use this stuff first. Thank you. We'll cook up all but one of the raw beef. Actually, that's only going to get one, isn't it? All right, so raw beef we need to hang on to. Raw pork chop we need to hang on to. Very good. We got one of those. Let's just throw those in there. Let's see. Do we see any signs just as we're looking here of... Temples. I don't see any stone peeking out. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We can be getting seeds. I'm not going to bother trying to plant them or hoe any ground yet. I'm going to wait until I've gotten some skeletons. Get out of there. Get that cooking. Um... In the first night, I'm going to try and get some skeletons so that uh, I can... Let's go ahead and cook with that, too. 
uh, so that I can get some bone meal, and the bone meal will be sufficient for the growing of wheat. I just saw right over here, get up the vines, we have some cocoa beans, which we'll need if we're going to make cookies. So that's good. Let's get back over to our furnace before we forget about it. Oh, it's already consumed the wooden pickaxe. There we go. So let's see, we can use F3, negative 550, 350. We'll see if I can remember those numbers later on. We'll explore in here a little bit. I'm hoping for chickens, which would be nice. Sometimes you can find them trapped in the greenery because they spawn in a leaf and then they can't get out. Uh, chunk loading error over there is not going to be helpful for this endeavor. There's a cat. I don't see it stalking anything, though. Honestly, I don't care if a cat kills it, as long as it gives me time to pick up its meat. Uh, no sign of chicky chicks. Chicky chick chick chick. What else we got around here? Anything useful in the slightest? Lava! Gonna start a forest fire. So maybe we don't want to be around this area. Let's go ahead and head back to the furnace. I'm just so nervous about wandering too far away. Oh, chicken! Chicken! Chick, 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 chick. Is that the only chicken in the... Uh, nope, there's one. I just had a little bit of client lag. Give me. Splendid, splendid. All right, let's get some of this cooked up. So is that it for the animals? I think possibly. Okay, good enough. Let's get one of those going. Let's cut down a few trees while we're in the area. Oh my gosh, my keys are stuck all over the place. It's my understanding that if you update your um, LWGL libraries, that that can help with that, but I'm on Linux, and I have not had much luck with updating my LWGL. It seems to just cause the game to get into a... Um, into a bit of a frozen state. All right, good enough. Let's take this with us. Let's get another sword. Let's get a couple swords. All right, so we got the chicken. Excellent. How are we doing on apples? Any apples? Apples? Hmm. Not a whole lot of luck with the apples. The other possibility, let's stay out of there. That's all spruce. That's not going to help us any. The other possibility for apples, one of the better possibilities for apples, is... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, a swamp biome's got um, very leafy oak trees in it. So that gets an increased chance of... Oh, I hear things. We near a Oh, we are indeed. We have a safe way down. Cuz I could use some of this stuff. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, if you were an astute viewer, you would have been able to determine from the length of the video that I did not succeed in this challenge. I did not expect there to be this many mobs down here already, or I would not have, uh, <laughs> I would not have just jumped into the fray. But 
my my frantic mindset just said get zombie meat, get string for fishing rod, get bones for bone meal. <sighs> It's very easy to forget whenever you're in um, a new world like this that you do not actually have armor on. Uh, you know, I have pretty decent, you know, level 30 enchanted armor pieces on pretty much all the time in all of my other worlds at this point. <laughs> it doesn't occur to me that, oh, yeah, yeah, they these guys actually hit pretty hard now. So, oh, well. <laughs> Well, I hope that was entertaining. I may make another attempt at this uh, on another week, but this is going to be it for this attempt at the Hungry Man Speed Challenge. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Game over, man. It's game over.